Hi, I'm Britt Seller, Development Specialist with American Implement, and welcome to another episode of American Implement's Virtual Tractor Clinic Series. This episode is going to be all about the Four family, which is going to be the largest of the offerings within the compact utility tractors that John Deere has to offer. Tyler Coe, Location Manager here at Scott City, will be joining us here shortly, and he's going to talk about specifically what customers are really liking about these machines uh, and some of the applications that these tractors are really excelling in. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and break down the family and talk through some of the different models. Uh, so with the 4 family, we have the 4M series. We also now have the 4M Heavy Duty series available, which is offered in the 52 and 66 horsepower. And then we have the 4R series, which is what we have here today. We actually have the 4066R that we'll be walking around uh, talking about operations, functionality, uh, some serviceability aspects of it, applications, and some of the popular attachments. Some of the differences between the M's and the R's, the M's are going to be a little more value spec, whereas the R's are going to be a little more premium spec, meaning you're going to have some different optionalities uh, between those two different series. The R's, you're going to have that cab option, uh, HVAC cab, as well as some different compatibility with some of the common attachments, such as loaders that you see here, and then also some of the different backhoe compatibility, uh, things like that as well. Now that 4M Heavy Duty, that's one of the newest offerings within the compact utility lineup, um, which their goal there was to help overall increase visibility um, and then just help make those tractors as versatile as possible. So some of the different things you're going to see there is a um, Cat 1 to Cat 2 compatible hitch. So you're going to have a little bit more versatility uh, within your implements as well. Uh, your lift capacity as well is going to be beefed up from the 4M. Um, too. So just some of those little differences that are going to make that new 4M heavy duty fit right in between the 4M and the 4R. Tyler Crow is joining me uh, to talk a little bit about more specifically the, the 4 family but the 4R. Um, so Tyler, tell me a little bit about why the 4 family of tractors is a good fit for customers in this area and specifically maybe a little bit about the 4R itself. Okay, uh, good question. One thing that we notice on this tractor, it's a 66 horse, and it's quite a bit bigger. I mean, you look <laughs> at these rear tires, I mean, they stand up a lot higher than our threes over here that are 20 horse less. Sure. Um, so that makes a big difference. It's going to handle more. It's going to handle more lift capacity on the front end. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is our PTO operations. So as far as like running a rototiller or a bigger rotary cutter, if I want to go to a 10 foot rotary cutter on yeah. here, where I can really get after Samoan then I can have that flexibility where I can do it with this tractor. Great. So um, that's been the biggest deal, lift capacity and that PTO. That's why we need the horsepower. And also just, it gives me the same easeability operation wise, as far as that twin touch, uh -huh. e-hydro transmission, and the cab's got the nice feel, the AC and the heater and everything else. Great, great. So Talk to me a little bit about the loader. So I see it's the R-Series loader as well. Yes, and this one, has it where you can do the quick touch. So five minutes, same like our little tractors, we can lift the levers, back our way and unhook our hoses. So that makes it easy. So when we are doing some other functions that we don't need the loader sticking mm -hmm. out there, it's easy to take off. Perfect. But also with the front, it's got the same quick touch where you pull the two pins and you can roll it out from that bucket, put the pallet forks on sure. or, you know, a dozer blade. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got so many functions. Or we can also add a third function, so we maybe even get a grapple, grapple. bucket. So move some material around the yard, some brush, um, that kind of stuff. That just There's so many options with that between John Deere, attachments, and Frontier that we can do with the front of this tractor. So um, also you can take it off and you can put that snowblower on the front of it. Fantastic. So we got the horsepower. You can run a bigger one. So if you get a lot of snow in the wintertime, <laughs> with the cab, keeps you nice and warm. So yeah, makes a big difference. So we have a lot of horsepower in a compact size, up to 66 horsepower, but we're still in a smaller frame, smaller chassis. Tell me specifically, maybe a little bit about why a customer might choose this 4R package compared to a actual full-blown utility tractor. Because that's the next step up, right? Correct. You got the 5 Series is our next step. Uh -huh. And, you know, they start at 55 horse. So it kind of goes in between what we've got with the 4s. You know, they start at 44, 52, and then 66. So... It's kind of an in-between, but what we get with the fours is like I was talking about earlier with that ease of operation. Sure. The transmissions, you go to that 5E, um, it's a lot more simpler. It's just a shift transmission. You have your different ranges. You have 12 speed or you can go to that 24 speed with the power reverse. Mm -hmm. Now, 
we, with the fours, we can go to that transmission also in our M series. So mm -hmm. we can simplify it if we need to, um, as far as price goes and save some of that money. But the main reason why I got a lot of our people go with the four R's is they want that, they want that e-hydro transmission. I want to be able to take the loader off quick and easy sure. also. You know, that five's not as quite, not quite as easy to take off as that four is. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of it. And it's still compact. We've right. got, a lot of horsepower and a little bundle so yep. and you can still do a lot you can move yep. round bales you can you know move a lot of gravel and things like that with these tractors still correct yeah it, it does amazing things when you get one it'll do whatever you think plus some okay let's talk about that john deere quality a little bit so why might a customer lean towards a john deere compared to other tractors in this market um first and foremost is our dealers you know with american implement you get a partner yeah um, we're here to help with your parts needs as far as you know if you need some filters some oil or even service you know if you want us to do the service work on it we're there to do it um and hopefully we don't have to do any service <laughs> mechanic warranty work or anything like that but yep. we're here we got trained technicians um that's another plus you're not having to drive a long ways to get it worked on or wait long periods to get your parts right so um deer's got phenomenal support on that and the other thing is we don't get too many of these in the shop mm -hmm. you know um, i've sent guys to training but they don't have the they're like oh, i still don't really get to use it <laughs> so which is a testament to john deere john deere builds great quality stuff um and everybody wants that john deere and surprisingly the cost of ownership is actually a lot less than some of our competitors so um, over it's the great, lifespan of the tractor. Over the lifespan of the tractor, Absolutely. so it's been great. Well, fantastic. So I think that speaks a lot again to, like I said, the John Deere quality we've come to know and expect, maybe large ag. Uh, it's built right into all these compacts as well. Correct. Awesome. Well, yes. Tyler, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. So Tyler already chatted a little bit about some of the applications he's seen customers utilize these tractors for, but let's talk a little bit more specifically about the attachments themselves and some of the compatibility. So on the R series, you're going to be tractors, you're going to be compatible with the R series loader. Um, so again, Tyler talked about the ease of how quick it is to take that on and off. Um, uh, the, the quick touch buckets, things like that. Now on the 4Ms, you're gonna be compatible with the E-Series loaders as well. So again, just a little bit maybe lower spec, um, but still very similar lift capacities, functionalities, things like that as well. So just about anything you can imagine here on the front end, um, you know, this is gonna be strong enough to, to lift up round bales, to pick up, you know, yards of dirt, gravel, things like that, materials uh, within the bucket. And then you can switch that out again for pallet forks, um, bale forks, uh, etc. there. So a really lot of versatility you have uh, with this loader. So thinking about some of the different applications uh, at the back of the tractor, this is a full cat one hitch, again with that 4M heavy duty both in the 52 and the 66 horsepower, uh, you can do it to where it is uh, convertible to a Cat 2 hitch. So there's a, just a simple ball within the, the draft links that you can rotate, and that's gonna give you the extra um, space that you need to make it compatible with Category 2 implements. Um, iMatch hitch, again, wonderful thing. It just makes things so much easier. You have these three uh, consistent connection points here that you line up with your implement versus draft links that are gonna move up and down side to side on you. Uh, so just makes hooking and unhooking uh, three-point implements so much easier there. Um, but really, any sort of ground engaging implements, digging, mowing especially. I mean, these things can really be mowing machines. As Tyler mentioned, adding you know larger rotary cutters, flail, flail motors, uh, mowers, excuse me, um, here on the rear is going to be uh, very versatile. Also snow removal. So snow blowers um, can be put on the rear of these. Uh, again, you don't necessarily have the mid PTO on the 4Rs, so you're, you're getting into that bigger, beefier tractor, so that mid PTO um, isn't an option, but you still have the rear 540, and you even have a 540E or economy PTO option uh, that's gonna help you save on engine uh, wear and tear as well. Um, so most of any PTO driven implements are gonna be available. You do have some optionality with rear hydraulics or rear remotes too. So if you're running something with a, a fan or a hydraulic motor or something like that within the implement, 
uh, this machine is gonna be able to handle that as well. So be sure to talk to your sales professional if that is a need of yours uh, when you're checking out these tractors. Really, really, really neat feature that's pretty um, currently uh, exclusive to John Deere tractors is gonna be the um, hitch assist. So what that's gonna do is you can actually raise and lower and move the hitch and move the tractor forward and back safely, of course, from outside of the cab. So if you're really struggling trying to hook something up or just need to inch it forward, inch and back, no longer do you have to climb up in that operator station and, and do that. You can actually do that from the rear of the tractor. So let me show you. This knob here, as you can see by the decals and it explains it pretty easily, you can actually raise and lower the hitch um, just by turning this knob. And so that's gonna give you the correct height there. Um, and then as long as your tractor um, is set correctly in the cab, and we'll go over that here shortly, then you can actually sh just barely inch the tractor backwards and forwards uh, by just the press of these buttons right back here. And so that is a, a really neat feature, um, currently industry to exclusive to the John Deere tractor. So, um, typically when customers are, are opting up for a larger unit like this, 66 horsepower, then they're going to be connecting to larger implements. So it just makes that ease of use and attachability that much easier with some of these great features. Talk about some of the different applications um, of these tractors, but now we're going into how do we actually operate them and how we use them. So uh, we're going to climb up in the cab and, and walk through a little bit here on the operator station. Got two nice left-hand steps, nice big handrails, easy accessibility. All right, so just starting on the left-hand side of our operator station, first and foremost, clear on the far left, you do have your 12-volt aux here. Um, following the same color coordination uh, throughout all the other John Deere tractors, anything in orange is gonna represent engine engagement or machine engagement or movement. So we do have our range lever right here to our left-hand side. Uh, we have A, B, and C in neutral uh, available here on the left-hand side. Again, low for more of those ground engaging, more of the um, you know, digging in the dirt piles, things like that. Um, high or C, you're gonna utilize more like for transport to where you wanna pick up those speeds, but you don't necessarily really work that engine per se in, in any sort of high idle situation. Park brake, um, pretty easy, simple to engage and to disengage. So that's nice. Uh, you do have your brakes over here on your left hand side. Um, again, you can treat them as steering brakes by simply unlocking them. So I can now maybe turn a little bit sharper by locking up one side or the other. Uh, but it's a good safety habit to be in to where if you don't need to use them as steering brakes, keep them locked. So that way you're making sure you're engaging both of them at the same time. Uh, if you're needing to use them to slow down, stop suddenly, things like that. Looking straight ahead here at our steering column, again with the four R's, uh, just like you would in most of the other R series tractors uh, and the different families, you have tilt steering. So you can get nice and comfortable position, especially if you're spending much time into the tractors um, themselves. Over here on your left-hand side as well, down by your left foot, you do have your diff lock engagement. So that's simply just gonna be depressing it by utilizing your heel. And when you're done utilizing it, uh, just simply release. So that's gonna more evenly distribute the power across your rear wheels. So if you're in a slick spot on one side, or again, if you're really digging into that dirt pile or gravel pile or something like that, that's gonna allow you to be able to push a little bit more evenly on the rear end. Looking forward on the dash, tilt steering, make sure, so you can get a nice, easy, comfortable position. Um, here on your left-hand side, you're gonna have your MFWD engagement. So instead of that being a lever down here um, on your left-hand side, it's down by your feet, it's right up here on your dash, which is nice. Uh, since you are in a cab, you do have windshield um, functions there as well. Um, we talked a little bit about that hitch assist functionality. Up here is where you're gonna have the engagement for that. So again, the tractor has to be in a very specific uh, range. You need to have this engaged uh, for safety features, obviously, in order to utilize that hitch assist from outside of the cab. As far as the dash goes, it's gonna be very similar to our, our 3R dash 
panels as well. So it's going to be an LCD where you're going to see your hours, you're going to see your PTO engagement hours, various indicator lights, um, battery, fluids, uh, temperatures, uh, if you're going through region, things like that. Um, so those are all going to be uh, lit up nice and bright for you here on your dash, as well as your RPMs, fuel levels, etc. Coming over to your right hand side of the dash, um, you have your light control, your hazard lights, your turn signals, um, also some different functionalities with that region function since it is a final tier four. Uh, but most of the time, if you just let it region on its own, should be golden. Uh, you have your hand throttle over here on the right hand side, again marked in orange. It's going to notify or it's going to signify um, engine engagement, so high idle, low idle, etc. This is the e-hydro transmission. So you have your forward and reverse pedals over here on your right hand side. Um, now with the four family, uh, you've got two different transmission offerings. You have the e-hydro, which is going to be standard in your, in your four R's. Um, and then it's going to be optional in your four M's. And then you have the um, power reverser 12, 12, 12 forward gears, 12 reverse gears. That is an option in your 4Rs and comes standard in the um, 4Ms. Now that 4M heavy duty, that's going to have the e-hydro standard and you don't have the option out of that. Um, but it is the preferred transmission. Very simple, easy to use. All right, so we're coming over to our right hand side. It gets a little busy. There's a lot going on over here, but again, because that's that 4R tractor. So you do have your loader control up here, um, a little more ergonomic um, handle than what you might see on some of the other series. Um, easy to reach. It's got the nice decal down here that's going to showcase what the different functions do or the different directions do. So back for up, forward for down, right for dump, left for curl. Um, pretty standard there as well. Now, if you did have an additional uh, remote or SCV functionality here, um, there is the, the plug-in here for the thumb um, control as well. So if you had a grapple, um, that's where you would utilize that. Coming over to our right-hand side, so we have our, our hitch height here. You do have your, your position control as well, so you can be very consistent as far as where you're uh, actually putting that hitch. Um, you have your cutouts for any sort of additional rear remotes. On the 4R, you have the optionality for up to six rear remotes. Um, so that's, that's quite a bit on a tractor like this. So you, um, but for some of those more complicated or, or intricate implements, you have the functionality there. Um, your PTO engagement signified in yellow. So that's, again, part of that color coordination. Anything in yellow is going to represent PTO. Also on your right hand control panel, you're going to have more of an automotive style uh, cluster panel that's going to be more specifically about the efficiencies of your transmission. Um, so you're going to be able to set your cruise control over here. So you're going to be able to turn it on and off. You're going to be able to set it, reset it, bump it up and down, etc. So all your cruise control is going to be managed from over here. Um, but then there's some also some different features and functionalities within the 4R. So you're going to have uh, something called load match, which is going to help rate the engine based off of the load that's being put on it to prevent any stalls from happening within your engine. Uh, then you're going to have speed match as well, uh, which is going to basically help you rate your actual ground speed according to the application that you're doing, um, more based off of your, your foot pedals. So I guess it's going to allow you to be a bit more efficient utilizing your, your engine power and your transmission. Uh, and then you also have um, motion match, which is basically going to change the responsiveness of your foot pedals. So essentially when you release one of your directional pedals, how quickly you come to a stop. Do you want to come more to a rolling stop or do you really want to stop stop? Um, so motion match helps you with that as well. So just some neat features within the transmission that help you be more efficient, um, as well as is e-throttle. So that's also going to help rate that engine, um, according to load and, and whatnot there. So trying to make these as efficient as possible. So some of those responsivenesses, things like that are going to be controlled over here on your right hand panel. Um, you have your windshield wiper washers, some work light engagements over here on your right hand side. 
Last but not least, especially when you're in a cab, you want to be comfortable. Your HVAC controls up here on your right, easy to reach. So your cool on your left, your heat on your right, um, HVAC on and off, and then your fan speed. And then you've got your radio over here on your left hand side. Um, multiple vents, I count six actually. So this cab definitely stays nice and cool um, in the summertime. Um, and then also nice and warm in the wintertime. Well, that should sum up overall just the uh, functionality and operations of this 4R tractor. When we think about attachability with this 4R and we're pretending we have an implement we're backing up to, you know, it can be a little frustrating that if you're not, maybe your hitch isn't perfectly at the right height or if your tractor's not far back enough or maybe you're too far back, uh, frustrating hopping up into the cab to make some of those minor adjustments. So there's a great feature called Hitch Assist on this 4R that's going to allow you to do just that. It's going to allow you to raise and lower the hitch and also move the tractor forward and backwards from the outside of the cab. So we're going to demonstrate that to you on how that works. So we're going to climb in, get this tractor started. Now there's a special sequence you have to make sure you're following in order to allow the tractor to be operated from the outside. So we're in neutral to start our tractor. Okay, and my park brake is still on from when we shut it off last. Uh, but then you're gonna have your toggle switch right up here, your hitch, switch, uh, hitch assist toggle switch. So I'm gonna turn that on and it's telling me to shift into range A. So simple enough with my range selector over here on the left hand side, shift that down to A. And I've got my flashers that came on. And again, my park brake is still engaged. So I'm gonna hop out of the seat and that beeping, what that just told me on my screen, it said hitch assist on, on my LCD. So I know we're ready to, to utilize this feature. And so we're gonna come back here to our buttons here on the back fender and we have to make sure we push this engage button and then it's giving us warning. So if I wanna reverse the tractor, then we're gonna start creeping the tractor back. So literally with one hand, I can move this tractor forward and reverse in order to make sure I'm at the right distance from the implement. So that's a pretty slick feature. Okay, now if I wanna raise or lower my actual three-point hitch, I'm gonna come back and use this lever back here. And so you do have to depress it so it depresses about a half an inch or so. And then I'm gonna rotate it either direction. So to come up, I rotate it counterclockwise. To go down, I rotate it clockwise. So again, it's very subtle and minor movements, but at times that's all you need and you don't necessarily wanna climb up and down in and out of the cab to make those little adjustments. So the hitch assist and being able to raise and lower your hitch from outside your tractor is a really great actually industry exclusive feature uh, for the John Deere 4R tractors. Now keeping your tractor serviced and maintained is obviously really important to its overall performance and making sure that it's, it's doing the jobs to its best capability. So we're gonna take a look at some of the common checkpoints, um, highlight a couple of the, the common filters, things like that, and just walk you through a little bit of about some of the simple serviceability. So since I'm vertically challenged a little bit here, let me get up here. So. Radiators up here in the front, um, your, your coolant as well. So you've got uh, your reservoir tucked in back behind here and then your air filter. Now, I love cheat sheets and you got one right here. Um, so it's gonna actually walk you through your daily service required, uh, periodic service required, and then talk about your hour intervals for each of those as well. So um, that's just one cheat sheet. And I'll tell you about another one here shortly. Um, so those are kind of the common common points I want to point out underneath the hood uh, that you know you as an owner even if you're not that mechanically inclined um, are apt to probably do on your own. So now some common checkpoints and some uh, filters and things like that that are outside of the engine compartment are actually going to be over on the right hand side of the tractor. Um, first off your oil fill for your front axle is going to be easy and accessible up here. Uh, you're going to have your oil fuel filters as well. 
um, that are going to be accessible uh, from outside of the tractor so easy accessibility and then last but not least your oil check or your dipstick it's going to be kind of buried up in here by your hydraulic connections um, but still very easy to reach uh, from the outside of the tractor something a little different on um, the four r's um, and the four family in general is you're going to have your battery it's actually going to be outside of that engine compartment so easy access to, to change, to, to check, um, etc. And still very safe in its own cover there. Uh, last but not least, one other final checkpoint you want to do with your hydraulics. It's going to be on the back side of the tractor. Simple enough, you can find that dipstick right here. So that's where you can check your hydraulic fluid as well. Uh, so those checkpoints are all very common. You've got your cheat sheet there under the hood. Speaking of cheat sheet, you've got one on your phone too if you download the John Deere Tractor Plus app. Uh, it's a great opportunity, it's a great tool. It's going to be able to walk you through and show you your service schedule, how to do those services. Um, it's gonna have written instructions, pictures, even links to some videos. You're gonna be able to look up parts. You're gonna be able to um, order those parts directly as well through the app, through um, the service departments as well. So it's just the overall um, best way to, to keep up with the service of your machine. You can always also call in to your American Implement Service Department and schedule service directly that way. Uh, and then also with the John Deere Customer Portal, don't forget about that. That's another way to communicate uh, with us here at American Implement, um, able to look up parts, order parts, schedule service as well. So you have some great tools available to you when it comes to the serviceability um, of your machine and keeping it maintained and in the best shape possible. In this video, we've been all about the Four family. So we've discussed some of the different optionality between the 4M, 4M Heavy Duty, and the 4R series. Um, lots of versatility, various applications, and really what I think is great about this family of tractors is with it being the largest of the compact utility tractor families, you're getting a lot of power in a small package. So anywhere from uh, 44 up to 66 horsepower, um, which is going to be powered by a Yanmar four-cylinder engine. So you're going to have some various models throughout that. Uh, but all in all, really the story here on the four family is it's a lot of power, small package, great versatility. Um, also don't want to forget uh, that John Deere quality that's backing it, including the warranty, power guard extended warranty. You also have John Deere financing available as well. Um, and speaking of financing, uh, we've got some great packages going on right now that maybe will help you out on that price point. Um, so on the, in the four family, we have four, three different packages, excuse me. On the 44M, we have the Duke. So in the Duke Plus, the Duke is going to have the tractor and the loader, whereas the Duke Plus is going to include our rotary cutter. In addition to the Duke, we have the Lone Ranger and the Lone Ranger Plus package, and that's going to be on the 4052R tractor. So on the Lone Ranger package, it's going to be the tractor and the loader. With the Lone Ranger Plus package, that's going to include the rotary cutter as well. And last but not least, on the 4066R, we're going to have the Haas and the Haas Plus. So the Haas is going to include the tractor and the loader, whereas the Haas Plus is going to intrude the tractor, the loader, and the rotary cutter. So if you want to see these tractors in person, for sure come check us out at any of our 16 American Implement locations throughout Western Kansas and Southwest Colorado, but also be on the lookout for any upcoming Drive Green events where we're going to be highlighting the full lineup of compact utility tractors, riding lawn equipment, gators, etc. Two events in particular I'd like to highlight is going to be the Three Eye Show in Dodge City, Kansas in March at the Western State Expo building. And then also the Garden City Home Garden and Farm Show. And that's going to be at the Finney County Fairgrounds in May. So be on the lookout for those. We are currently scheduling more. So please check out our website, not only to see about upcoming events, uh, virtual opportunities to save as well. And then also uh, checking out those great tractor packages. Thanks so much for tuning in and learning about the four family of tractors. And we hope you tune in to another episode of our virtual tractor clinic series.